G'day guys, Will Kitching here. Welcome back to another video and thank you so much for joining us. Now, if you're a Southeast Queensland local, you'll recognize Burley Headland there in the background here on the Gold Coast. We are at Palm Beach Reef this morning and this time of year, it is mackerel time. The spotties have moved in and the Spanish shouldn't be too far behind either. So as you can see, we're not far out from the beach here today. The reef is not very far out at all. It's nice and shallow around 20 meters or so, even less in some parts. So we've got some dead baits out the back here that we're trolling. So we've got some dead pilchards on our wire trolling rigs. So before we get into the video, I'll give you a really quick look at those. And at the end, I'll talk through it a little bit more. We're gonna show you how to rig them up as well. And just to let you in on a little secret, we've already got a couple of fish. So you should be in for some good action. So anyway, if you enjoy, make sure you subscribe and like the video. Leave a comment asking any questions. Fingers crossed we can get a few more. Stay tuned. All right, guys, well, here is a quick look at the rig. Now, everything is attached by some 44 pound single strand wire. So that's the one that we use. Now that runs between a swivel and a hook and a hook and a stinger, as you can see. The only other addition is this pink squid skirt, which you can buy from tackle shops. We've cut that down to about five or six centimeters long and a sinker on the hook, but I'll talk about that in a second. Now you swivel, you want that to be matte black you don't want it to be shiny or silver because fish will see that going through the water and bite you off now our first bit of trace between the swivel and the hook is about 30 centimeters now you can make that longer if you're targeting spanish or wahoo but for the spotties that is fine so we put our swivel on thread our squid onto this and then we attach our hook if you try to do the hook first and then the swivel when you're attaching your swivel with the haywire twist you have to swing this around and it makes it very, very hard. Same with the treble. You want to put the treble on first and then attach it to the hook. Now, I'll give you a close up of this, but it is basically a widening sinker that we use, a size two bean sinker split in half almost all the way through and then clamped onto the shank of that hook. Now that helps to make the bait swim straight and not spin. And we have an owner treble on the back as a stinger, which I'll put the model on screen now for you. So that is the basic rig, guys. Let's see if we can catch a fish on it. After deploying our baits, we started to slowly drive around the outside of the pack of boats anchored on the reef. After finding some bait on the sounder and seeing a few other people hook up, it didn't take long for this to happen. Cool. Matt, just let that one leave it there for a second, Matt. See if we can get a double. Take your time. Yeah. You want me to get it down? No, just let it Shaking its head. Let's see if we can get a double. We're right for now, so. Hasn't done a big run yet, this one, so. Yeah. There it goes. All right, maybe just bring that one in now, Matt. It's going around that way, that's all. It's coming at us a bit here, so just get the gaff ready. Yeah, I've got the gaff. Go, Matt. Nice and slow, Matt. If you can keep it, if you can. That one's been bitten too, has it? Oh no. Yeah. Here it is, spotty. Yeah. yeah, good spotty. 
just wait now, wait. Wait. Go over him and hit him. Nice. Watch your feet, watch your feet, watch your feet. There we go, guys. Not bad at all for a season opener. Just trolling those uh, pilchards, as I was saying. So, yeah, good bit of fun. Took some runs. So, nice sort of, not, not a bad size one. I'll hold it up for you in a second and tell you what we're doing, but happy with that to start the season. <laughs> First one of the morning, hopefully a couple more. <laughs> hopefully a couple more. We got one line out, I'm gonna get another bait back out. But uh, that's not a bad start at all. Good start to the mackerel season as well, so not a bad little spotty. So here's the rig we showed you guys. In terms of rigging your pilchards on it, so this is gonna sit up through the head like that. So about in line with the eyes, we're gonna go in the chin here with the single hook and make sure it comes right out in the middle of the head that's going to sit there like that and then our treble we're going to just put that flat and put one point down right in the middle of the back there make sure it's nice and straight put our pink squid down on there nice and neatly on top of that hook and sinker and you got to make sure you test it and make sure it's swimming straight before you put it out, so we'll have a look. All right, so as you can see, that is not spinning. That is just swimming nice and straight. That is perfect. You either want to kick side to side or just a straight track through the water. You don't want it to spin at all, and that is perfect. So let's get it back out there. So basically guys, the technique here is we're searching for some bait on the sander or fish mac will show up as lines squiggly lines or arches about halfway up off the bottom usually sitting mid water so we're definitely looking for that but we're also looking for bait because that's what they're going to be around and that is such a key when you're chasing mackerel so we're looking for bait on the sounder and when we find that we'll do a couple of laps over it and that's how we've got that fish there so uh, definitely pays to look for bait and that's what you want to be fishing around now the boat is just in gear so it's just really an idle speed just clicked into gear so we're really slow trolling if you're good enough to get those baits swimming absolutely perfectly you can probably go a bit faster and it wouldn't matter but we like to just go nice and slow so those baits sit at a nice depth and uh, go at a nice speed and obviously the mackerel don't mind it going slow as you can see so yeah that's just a little bit of a tip for you dad's just done another loop now he's up on the wheel there so he's just done another loop we're going to go back down over this uh, shell of bait where we've got that fish so um fingers crossed we can get another one it was only a few minutes after landing that first fish when we had our second hit if you watch closely i'm only just letting out the second bait and when i put it in the rod holder it's only a matter of seconds before it gets hit actually you just can't hear what i get my shoes on it was the parts in here that you better put your shoes on too we're on we're on we're on we're on we're on Wait, wait to see if we can get another one, Matt. Yeah, we're right. You want this one, Matt? Yeah, sure. I don't think I'd like Just give it a second, just give it a second, Matt. Okay, grab this, I'll drive that. Matt, do you want this one? Yeah, he he took off when he first ran, guys. Yeah. Are you getting line? Oh yeah, you're getting line back. I think you get No. It'd just be a big run, I think. Yeah, it's swimming. It's swimming. Just lay this down or hold it. Let a bit of line out so that wire's straight and then put it next to those rods. You swimming up that way. Let me know if you need anything. You want to get me the harness out of that blue bag, Will? Matt, can you get the gimbal? 
please. You, you might yeah. get a shot here. Yeah. yeah. That's a good fish. Where's the fish? Fish? Yeah. You might be able to just loosen your drag off the tiniest bit now, or just leave it how it was. In the blue bag, mat on top. Good fish. Good spotty. Just, just wait now. A big spotty. Wait, wait, wait. Watch the line on the boat. Yeah. Next time he comes around. Him. Yeah. Right. Watch your line. Lift him a bit if you can. No, just take your time. Take your time. You got wire, so just watch him on that motor. You're gonna have to wind a bit. Oh, dog. Take your time. Take your time. Oh, shaking his head. Oh, you dog. Behind the wire. Yeah. Right. Head down that one. That's a big spotty. There we go. Now that is a nice spotty, guys. And as you saw from that first run, you could tell straight away it was going to be a better fish. So well done, Dad. Yeah, nice one. First run for the season. Yeah, put up a nice fight there. So, Matt, get your arms ready, son. Hopefully, we can get another one. Good fish, though, Dad. Well done. So when you're doing this type of fishing, guys, you don't want to be going too close to other boats. So we're sort of around the outskirts. And a good tip is to actually sit down current of all the boats because they're all going to be burling, but that's going to wash down from them. So if you can um, troll in that area or fish around there, usually it'll actually, uh, the mackerel will actually sit off the back of all the boats where all the burly drifted to. So um, yeah, that's definitely something to look out for. And you, you don't want to be going between the boats and annoying everyone either. And tangling lines or cutting people off or getting too close to other boats so just be aware of that as well so as you can see dad's turning again now keeping away from those boats good well done, stuff mate, mate. Big play too. really oh, oh, yeah I hope so. well done good stuff fingers crossed you get him Two spotties so far. So yeah. Good on you, mate. I'll get out of your way. Good Spanish? Oh, cool. Yeah, nice. That's the way. Yeah, yeah. no, that's all right. Can only keep one now. Have a good fight for you. Got one, you got to go home, sadly. But yeah, yeah. we well, just said he's got to go home. <laughs> There's a few spotties around, but yeah. Yeah. yeah, good on you. Yeah. Cheers. All right, guys. Well, the bite went a little bit slow there on the troll. It was working really well this morning, but uh, as that sun came up, sometimes it can push them a bit deeper, and all the bait that was up mid water and all the fish we were seeing sort of dispersed a little bit and went deeper. So we saw a fair few boats getting them just anchored floating pillies. Um, so that's what we're doing, and we're also going to cast a chrome slug and just crank that back in while we're waiting because you can catch them that way as well. So it's beautiful here, we're sitting in the shade now. Fingers crossed we can get a couple more. After floating our unweighted pilchards out, I cubed a few up to use as burley and threw a few pieces out every few minutes. You definitely don't want to overdo it with the burley. The first hit actually came when I started casting a chrome slug. After I missed that fish, they actually came right in behind the boat in the burly trail and it didn't take long for Dad to hook one on a pilchard. Leave him there. Might be bitten off. Yeah. No, just no bait. Oh, no, still, still there. Just leave it. Got it. As you can see, it crossed all of our lines, but thankfully after that, it stayed in the clear and took some truly screaming runs. Leave them ones out, we Yeah. 
Oh, I just don't want you to get tangled. It's yeah. going up near the anchor. Yeah, I forgot about the anchor. Oh. No, come on back out. Good. No wire on this. Yeah. I'm just going to get this one in. Not real big. No, I'm just going to get this one in. Yeah, Matt, wind this, wind this. Let me get the gaff. It's in the side. Yep. Spotted. Yeah. Here we go again here. Yeah. Take it easy. Work. There we go. There's another one. That one on the floated pilchard. So that Very one good. went really hard. Very good. Very good. It started over here, ended up <laughs> over there somewhere. So very, very good. That's another nice one, Dad. Thank you. Well done. While we were waiting for a bite, my brother Matt spotted some mackerel slicing and busting up on the surface out to the left of the boat. I quickly grabbed a chrome slug and cast it in the general area. I'm definitely in that. In there like swimwear, baby. Yeah. They were mackerel. Oh, look at them going up through there, through the divers. Oh, one's followed it. One followed it. Go. Did you see it behind it? Yeah, got those lines because it could go anywhere still. You're gonna have to watch the anchor rope and Matt yeah. get ready for these lines here. Maybe we should bring them in. It's a slug. Shit. It's a slug. Stay over this way, mate. In the boat, till they're in the boat, these buggers. No, there it is. Yeah. Yeah. It's body. It's body. Yeah. 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 Got it? Yep. Well done, boys. Inside of the head, look yeah. Up. There's a nice one, guys. On the slug again there. Well, on the slug, that the Halco outcast mat saw him busting up, so I cast over there. One followed it, and then the next cast, he hit it. So, there you go. Very cool. We've got a fair few mackerel on that now, so. So there we go, guys. That mackerel that I just caught threw up that whole little white bait there and our slug matches up pretty perfectly if you ask me so that's a halco outcast 60 gram so we've got a few spotties on that now and uh yeah worked a treat so i'll get it back out there where i saw those fish or where matt saw those fish and see if i can get another one well guys that brings us to the end of the video we didn't get any more mackerel after that one but we were really happy with four for our season opening mackerel trip really fun they take off and there was a couple of good size ones there as well, so not complaining at all. Hopefully you guys picked up a few tips and learned something from the video. If you do have a question, feel free to leave a comment and ask it, and I'm happy to answer it for you and have a bit of a chat and see how you're going. So thanks so much for watching this far. I really do appreciate it, and don't forget to subscribe if you're not. All right, stay tuned, and I'll catch you in the next video.